Welcome back to the UGF Pandas. In last episode, we managed to upset BYU at home, which is a pretty good win for us. I mean, any win is good for us, but that one was a massive one. This is going to be a big episode for us. I mean, not the game because Georgia State is 0-9, but they are our rivals, so who knows? They could sneak up on us. What makes this game so special is that we have four recruits currently listed to visit for us. So it's on us to try to impress them as much as we can to swindle them into coming to UGF. Sam Ramirez, Kyle Stevens, Brandon Montgomery, and Marcus Kendrick. Anybody else ready for a visit? We have six people ready for a visit, it looks like. Okay, so he's scheduled all the way through week 14. That kind of stinks. I'm trying to get this guy in as fast as possible. He has a complimentary visit with Kyle Stevens. That will be huge. Competitive visit, we don't want that. Let's go with the bye week, who cares? Oh, this guy has mega complimentary visits. Confirm that one. It says they're a better team than us, but they haven't won a game all season. And we're the UGF Pandas. We're playing at home. We cannot let them win this one. To try and impress the recruits, I am trying to blow these guys out. No mercy will be shown in this game, because we got to rush for 100 yards and pass for 250. I don't think we've passed for 250 with one quarterback ever. It's a night game too. This should be fun. We're nowhere near in the position to win this conference. But hey, every win helps. Really, it's a rivalry game and there is nobody in the stands. But then again, I don't think anyone's been at any of our games ever. Let's do this, lads. Eric Tyson leading the nation in tackles. You better believe he's getting 10 plus in this game. Here he goes. Oh, I missed. Oh, but he got rocked from the safety. Guy in motion. Committed to the run out the middle. They got nothing on that one. Oh, come on, I, I tried to do the user interception, but I didn't get it. I gotta get better at this user thing. Oh, like they keep trying to do runs up the middle, so I'm gonna stay committing to that. Nobody's open, where's the pick? So close to grabbing that one. Ah, oh, he found the man. Waited for him to run past my zone. Oh no, he's breaking tackles, that's not good. Get him, Preston. Manning, somebody. Tanner, dang it. We can't bring him down. They score on their opening drive. That's frustrating. We started off pretty hot on that first set of downs and then we just let it slip away. I haven't run this play a single time for the Pandas, but we're gonna try a Wildcat play with the counter. Okay, first play's going pretty well. Can I get around him? Nope. This one's a pitch to Dingle. Oh, the cut to the outside, I like it. Denman still got my block downfield. Let's go! 55 yards for Ryan Dingle. You gotta love the triple option. We're gonna go play action here. See if we can get past him. Um, oh, I don't see anything. What would the spin around? I see X, but I don't think he's open anymore. Stepped out of bounds. That's rough. Doo-doo. We're gonna have to go for it. Fourth and 20. Let's give it a twirl. Four verts on fourth and 20. What else can you run here? Ah, just chuck it. It's intercepted, no surprise. <laughs> Ryan Dingle though, laying him out. Dingle went and donged him. Bye, have a great time. Oh no. We don't have anybody back. Is he gonna go the distance? Crap, one play and they're gone. I committed to the middle, I gotta stop doing that. That one was on me. We're already down 14 points to the 0-9 Georgia State Tigers. Well, this game did not start off as planned. But we're gonna go to the Wildcat, trying to get something going. Maybe we can get a big play out of this with Dingle. Oh, he broke it. Stay on your feet, son. Not bad. Let's go, Horton. Hey, Horton. Oh, dang it, he keeps getting nailed. Barely got that one off. Wow, they had that one covered up. They're supposed to have the worst defense in the nation and they're stopping us consistently. I see Stance streaking. No one's back. Go, Stance. This should be a touchdown. 67 yards to the end zone. Our big play threat goes deep. And we're starting to come back, thankfully. Took us a while to get going. Their running back has torn us apart so far. Oh, it's a draw play. We had guys there ready for him. How many yards does he have on the game? Gotta be over 100 already, I'm sure. Yeah, dude already has 120 rushing yards after that huge play. That is embarrassing. He's gonna try to scramble. What the heck? Is that not intentional grounding? Throwing that one out of bounds. That's gonna be the panda's ball. Get to the corner. 
just don't have enough speed. Oh, that's definitely the wrong button. That's too easy for them to swat down. Should have hit the tight end. That's the button I meant to hit. Tyson forced him to throw it out. We're all over this one. No way he's catching that. Eric Tyson's on it. Boom, he fumbled it. Eric Tyson forcing the fumble. And Holmes picks it up. The first turnover of the game for the Pandas. It's crazy. The leader of our defense is a redshirt freshman. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna run this one. Slide down, take it. Oh, that was awesome. What a great spin move by PJ Hale. He's open right here, Perez. Doesn't get the ball much when, when he does. It's usually a big play. Field goal is good. <laughs> It'll be third down. Oh no, this guy's on my cheeks. We made a miss though. Touchdown, Will Horton. Scrambled his way in. It's not how we drew it up, but I'll take the game tying touchdown. You know, give him a few years and we might be having a Horton here's a Heisman. Uh oh, California takes down the number one USC Trojans. RIP Sam Darnold. Get him! That's a diving sack for Preston. That was awesome. He was flying in the backfield. We sent so much pressure there. There was no way he was getting that pass off. Ah. Uh. Ain't no way he's getting that first. We had four guys on him. Nice. This could be another stance touchdown. I'm sending it. Can he get it? He grabbed it. What a catch. That is insane. It's up in the air. Two guys on his back. Stance hauls it in. That was so close to being intercepted. It didn't feel like a cheesy animation either. It looked like a clean contested ball. That was awesome. Sending it deep. Galloway's got it. This close to the end zone, I'm gonna try to do the QB sneak. Let's go over the top. He's in. Oh, and he got freaking flipped. Looked like a WWE SmackDown event. Another touchdown for Will Horton. He's eating over here. Another sack. This one for Eric Tyson. Tyson's having a hell of a game. At halftime, Pandas are up 21 to 14. And I think we're about to turn this into a blowout in the second half. Oh, come on, triplet. Not this again. Dropping the wide open pass. Oh, they they definitely fooled me on that one. I thought it was going to be a pass. I dove for the quarterback, too. It's a pass play. Nobody's open. Oh, just kidding. He's open, but he drops it. Heard the footsteps. Does this man really have this strong of a leg? Your team is 0-9. I'm not believing this for a second. Time for a kick six. It's up, and it's missed. He barely missed it, but it's still short. Are you serious? How many broken tackles are they going to get? Oh, he dropped it. He definitely got scared of Tanner coming up. It's a screen pass. I'm ready for the pick. Come on. I'm there. Go up and get the ball, son. I'm glad he got the tackle for loss, but we could have had the football. That's a user interception, and he dragged the toes. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I wanted out of you boys. What a play. Benny Preston. I couldn't do that again if I tried. Oh, get that one. Just put your hands out. It's there. No. This one's going to stance. It's a little short. Backfired really quickly. Get him, O'Neal. Two interceptions on the game for Horton, but both of them are just like deep balls that I shouldn't have forced. Dang, they're starting to drive. I'm not liking this. You're not getting past Tyler Ruff. Eric Tyson, dude is so good. Tyson, oh, he missed that one. Preston's getting thrown off. That's a touchdown. That's his third one of the game, I think, too. Heading into the fourth quarter, it's a tie ball game. It's been ugly, but it's been fun. Make the good throw. Good catch angle. That's Dinman. Solid gain of seven yards. Just need two yards. Dingle's got the corner. He's going to have more. Oh, that was an awesome juke. Dingle is so good at moving around, guys. I see Dinman. Touchdown. What a throw. If that was even barely off the mark, that would have been an interception. But Horton steps up, fires a rocket for Elliot Denman getting his first touchdown of the season. Dang, all these ranked opponents are getting knocked off today. Miami falls to Virginia Tech. 
I wasn't covering that side of the field. That one's on me. Another big run for their running back. He might get like 200 rushing yards on us, man. Oh, he tried to run. Jakari McClellan, way to step up and get the sack. Oh, he broke off the tackle. Tyson brought him down with some help. We hit him over Powell's head. I was trying to jump for it. I'm thirsting for that pick. I saw him. We stopped him short. It's going to be third and goal on like the inch mark. I dare them to throw this football. They handed it off. He's in the end zone. We got a barn burner here. They tie it up again with two minutes to go in the game. Oh, we almost blocked it. Never in all my days did I expect a tie football game with two minutes left against an 0-9 football team. But here we are. We got the pass off. We got a good block. I'll take it. Six yards to start the drive. Not bad. My goal on this drive is just to try and not lose the game. Even if the clock hits zero, I'd rather go into overtime than letting it slip away. Oh no. Yep, I'll take the sack. Time for the four verts. Do I just let the clock go down? Might as well. I'm going to run for it. Horton, he's going to be short of it. They called a timeout. 35 seconds left. I think we have to punt it here. It's like if we don't get this first down, it's an automatic win for them. Got to trust in my defense. Tanner, he muffed it. Oh, dude is stumbling down. That's awesome. That is so clutch. That wasted a couple of seconds, and now it pushed him back even more. Throwing it out of bounds on the first one. They got 22 seconds left. Playing for overtime now. It's a screen pass. Tyson, pull him down. Inbounds two. They're going to have to waste another timeout. 18 seconds left. It's third and 11. It's another screen pass. Tyson pushed him out of bounds. It's fourth and 17. We legitimately could win this game. Oh, man. If we get a walk-off win at home against our rivals, Negan Stance, we just got to get in field goal range. Five seconds left. We can do this. I just need a very quick pass. Five seconds. Hit the deck. Oh, clock's going to hit zero. That's going to be it. Maybe I should have hurled it to the end zone. Oh, boys. Here we go. Heading into overtime with an 0-9 football team. We won the toss. We're going to take defense first. Clock is zero the whole time. Starts from the 25. He's throwing this one out of bounds. This one's a short pass again. Third and seven. So far, so good. I'm feeling really ballsy. I'm going to send a ton of pressure here. No way. Get out there, Holmes. It's an open lane. That's going to be a touchdown. Ah, I choked. I tried to get the tackle. Well, this is just a bit stressful. We have to get the touchdown to stay alive in this game. Okay, we got Horton. That's a good run so far. Another first down for us. Oh, that's Lowry, and he got hit in the backfield. Slide down. Do not want to fumble it. Good, good. Oh, that one's hitting the deck. It's going to be fourth down. No, they sent the blitz, and I thought the post was going to be open. I see him, Perez. He's got the first. Thank goodness. I was about to have a heart attack right there. Let's go, Tom. Get in there, son. Let's go. We tied it up. We're going to double OT here in Fairburn. This one's for a keeper for Horton. First down again. Oh, goodness. I'm so afraid he's going to fumble one of these. This is going to Negan Stance. Get the first. It's going to be third and one. Let's see if we go back to the fullback. All right, he's got the first. That's all we needed. Time for a toss play for Dingle. Just get to the corner. Get in the end zone, man. This game is way too stressful right now. Get there. Dingle's in the end zone. That's a relief. Now if our defense stop him, we win the game. He's throwing it to the corner. Stepping out of bounds. He's trying to run for it. I stepped up and made the user tackle. That's a draw play. Trying to strip it out. We couldn't get it. Third and seven. To the corner. No, it's out of bounds. Fourth and seven. One more and we win. No, he's in the end zone. Dang it. Now we got to go to a triple overtime. And in triple overtime, you have to go for the two-point conversion if you get the touchdown. This has been the most stressful football game of my entire life oh Tyson put your hands out that could have been the game he's wide open in the middle of the field they already got the touchdown can we stop the two-point conversion at least guys strip it out no 
I don't like this at all. It's a good play by Dingle. First and goal. Going powerful on this one. Dingle is in the end zone. Here we go. We knew we could get the touchdown, but can we get the two-point conversion? You got one shot at it. Quiet down the crowd. Let me just take a second to breathe. No! We lose the game in triple overtime. The dang two-point conversion. I blew it. We gave Georgia State their first win of the season, 50-48. to 48. What a crazy high-scoring game. No upgrade for Tony Romo, but I think before we check the stats, number one game rank. Ah, it sucks to lose an instant classic game, though. Don't want to hang our heads too much on that game, though. It was a hard-fought game, and it was a ton of fun. Horton still had a pretty good game besides the two interceptions that I forced. Dingle stepped up and had an awesome game. 115 rushing yards and two touchdowns. Horton also had two on the ground as well. Negan's stance continues to impress. 112 receiving yards and a touchdown. Elliot Denman getting his first receiving touchdown of his career. I told you guys Eric Tyson would get double digit tackles in this game. He got very close. He finished with nine, three of them for loss, a sack, and he also had a forced fumble. Their quarterback had three touchdowns. Their running back also had three touchdowns. The final game stats, they had over 400 yards of total offense. That is uh, ugly to look at. So we did get over 100 rushing yards, so we completed one of our goals. We lost the game, so that's a major goal that we missed. Even in defeat, Will Horton is our player of the game alongside Eric Tyson, the two captains of the team. Man, who do we have next week? Western Kentucky. They're one of the better teams in our conference. We got some positive news. People visited our school and they got some positive bonuses. So I guess we can't hang our heads too much. Let's see what they have to say about us again after this one. Coach, you need to do some damage control. A few players aren't pulling their weight. Who's not pulling their weight? The entire defense? <laughs> I think that's pretty clear. But update on the season stats. Will Horton is 52nd in the nation in terms of passing yards. And rushing, Ryan Dingle is 115. Receiving, Negan Stance is 75th. Eric Tyson and Benny Preston leading the nation in tackles. And no one's even close to Eric Tyson at that. Sack leaders, Jakari McClellan has nine. Oh, a guy from UNLV is up there. That's pretty crazy. Looks like Miles Gaskin is number one on the list. Well, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Come back next week and see us get whooped by Western Kentucky. Anyways, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. You got Negan Stance again. What did I tell you? He's open downfield. Back-to-back -back drives for a touchdown for Negan Stance. Look at that arm. Stance is wide open downfield. What are you doing, Jags? You're letting the Panthers back in the game.